I am live, so. Are you? But yes, I am. Don't swear. Good morning, again. Afternoon, actually. I'm having some organisational issues. What did I do with that ink pad? Oh, freaking heck. Hello. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of a chat with my uh, BFF on Facebook and got sidetracked and, you know, how you see something shiny and off you go, off and running. Anyway, oh, wrong button. Okay, Fiona, leave me alone. I'm, I'm live and trying to be a professional. So I thought that... Oh, where's my black ink pad? All right, I'm going to have to go for my backup ink pad. Oh, see, now I've got a problem. I can't find it. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. Hello, Fiona. This is live Facebook number 15 of... 16. One more to go after this one. I hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. Um, I today am going to I'm going to do a little art journaling page this afternoon. We currently have a couple of amazing things on special for you on nataliemay.com.au. You will find alcohol inks on special today. You will find Washi tape, 15% off today. You will find Lindy's, 15% off today. And you will also find Dina Wakeley Media Collage Paper, 15% off today. So I thought that I would do a quick little art journal page using the collage sheets um, and... And some stamps. That's all I've really thought about. Um, my lovely husband, Clever Trevor, popped in and bought us in a Bunnings lunch, some sausages and some bread, which we kind of needed. Um, so we are feeling... have got food in our bellies. Um, so this is what's in one of the packs. I do love these. So these are the tissue papers. And they uh, you do get quite a good variety in the packs. And you get two of all of them. And you also get some white sheets as well, which um, paint up really quite nicely and you can use in your um, art journals. This one is one of my favourites. I do love these pages. They're quite abstract. And what else have we got here? That one as well is in the pack. So they're really fantastic value for money. Uh, I think I've shown you all of them. Yes, I have. So I thought today I might do a page in my craft journal. So what I have done, this is my little Dina Wakeley craft journal. I like this size. I like this double layout sort of spread. Um, I've done a few other little pages in here. This is the one that I did yesterday, day before. I don't even know. I did that with the, um, I have to put a bit of some words on it, but I did that with some distress oxides um i've done a couple of pages here for stencil girl that's another one that i did just for me just because that's with watercolors and a sticker hey louise you want to keep it down in there babe um another little one here which is using acrylic paint so there's a nice size little little um journal uh, so I've just used um, my big wide brush. Um, I have got a couple of these that I use. Um, we've got them online and they're excellent for just getting a quick application of gesso onto a page. If you don't have one of these in your stash, I highly recommend grabbing one. They are very, very cool. I'm just going to crack that open there. Very easy to use. And what I want to do is I want to choose one of these images to go on my page. So let's see what I can find here. Um, and then I'm going to add some Lindy's to it, I think. 
Good afternoon to everybody tuning in. I'm going to do a little art journal this afternoon. All right. I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to pop that one on, on that side there. I'm going to start with that. So to get that to tear away, I'm just going to use a paintbrush and lightly make that wet so that I can tear the tissue paper because tearing it if I was just to tear it it was it just won't work how I want it to so I'm going to soften it and then I'm going to pull the fibers apart because I've weakened the fibers of the paper like that all right because I didn't want to cut around it with scissors and I'm going to stick that there and I'm going to use some gel medium to do that hello Emma hello Val hello Michelle welcome everyone hello Susan um, okay so I'm going to use a catalyst tool which is this well-loved little number and some gel medium and of course gel medium is my adhesive of choice for collage uh, for collage papers and tissue papers because it goes on lovely and smooth and gives a really good adhesion to sticking that on. So I'm going to put it on like that. And then I'm going to go over the top and completely seal it with gel medium. So the reason I'm not using a paintbrush is I don't want it to go on too thick and I want to make sure all my edges are stuck down. And then I'm going to use two fingers to polish it off like that. And what that does is it thins out the gel medium and it also helps get out any bubbles from underneath. Um, I think I need something on this side as well. Let's have another look through here and see if I can find another image. Oh, that one's a good one. That's going to fit nicely. So I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to wet that. And this is an excellent little trick to sticking down to tearing art paper, um, sorry, tissue paper. Okay, you got to pull those fibres apart, wet them. And pull them apart. So covering my page first with gel medium and it's not super thick and it's a nice even coat. Right up to the edges and all over my fingers. And yes, that is a six by six journal. Thank you for answering those questions, girls. I am not looking up at my screen to see the questions I'm concentrating on here. I do apologize. So yes, it is a six by six size journal, which is, it's taken me a while to get used to a small journal. Because I'm a scrapbooker, I've always found it much, much easier to work on a larger journal. But now I'm getting, you know, getting the hang of working in a small journal. So the reason I'm completely sealing this with gel medium is because I'm going to be adding some Lindy's Magicals over the top. And I'm going to be using water. So I need to make sure that my tissue paper is not going to absorb too much water and that it's going to... Um, that it's nice and sealed okay so that's why I'm making sure that I'm getting a nice a nice coat over the top um, I'm then going to put the lid back on my gel medium I'm then going to dry that off uh, but before I do that over the side here and over the side here I have I've got an overflow of gel medium 
where I've brushed over the top a bit. So I'm thinking I just want to give it a little bit of gesso just to take off that shiny shininess that the gel medium does. It makes it like resist and I don't want it to resist. I want it to be all the same finish. So just by putting some gesso over the top should seal it. Okay, so because gesso is a sealer and an undercoat, I want it to uh, make sure that it, it's covered up that, that gel medium. Okay, does that make sense? Because I don't want to resist. I want it... There we go. And I'm going to hit that with a heat gun and dry it off. So the gesso that I choose to use when I'm creating is I love me some Liquitex. The Liquitex uh, gesso is an artist quality gesso and that's why I love it. And it is, um, Liquitex is the company that created gesso. There's something you might not have known from yesterday. And a nail file just because I can't be bothered finding my scissors and it tears it off. And sticks to your thumb. So I'm going to use some magicals today. So Lindy's Gang Magicals are a pigment dye based powder which means that they are super pigmented. They are, you know, the pigment is the colour, the powder is the, the product, so the powder you need to activate to get that magic to happen. And the dye means that it has a nice permanency to it. And I forgot to pick up my thing of magicals. Oh, here we go. That'll do. So do I go for bright or do I go for subdued? What do you think? What do we all think? Someone, someone give me a, I don't really know. I've got lots of colours here. Let's go bright. Oh, I knew you'd say that. Whatever mood I'm in. Oh, Catherine's saying subdued. I'm actually thinking, oh, brights. Okay. How about I go with the summer break set? Yeah, I'm not feeling the bright, but you know what? There's two for brights. Oh, Leanne suggested reds. Oh, sweetheart, I'll never do reds. Reds are not my go-to because quite often if I add red to something, I've got this knack of making it look like I've bled out on a page, which is not ideal. Okay, so magicals. Magicals are the pigment dye-based powder, the powder... Greys. Oh, that would have been nice. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to mix it up.
the um, the powder means that you we can we can mix it with lots of different things. We can add um, we can add lots of different things to it. So I'm going to work with water today, and I'm going to go with oh look grey. So a lot of these colours I've had for a really long time, and they are all taken out of the like the sets like this. So um, and this is probably only a third of my collection. Um, again, no judgment. Safe place, girls. I uh, might bring out some teal, sepia, orange, brown. Don't look at me like that, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very indecisive today. I don't quite know what I'm doing. All right. No, no, and you're not much help today either. You're bloody useless. <laughs> you're not totally useless because you're picking orders like a boss. So I can't find anything on my desk. What's happened? You know what? I have, after... 15 live Facebooks. It's no surprise that I can't find anything on my desk. I've lost my little Nuvo spoon. It's because I keep putting things away in a safe place when I'm finished. And consequently, it's not happening. Anyway. Yes, Louise is in the house, Emma. Finally. Finally. She started a, had, a, had a bit of a late start today after going for her second jab this morning. Um, so yes, she's, she had a little bit of a sleep in this morning. We'll call that. Um, so the colors that I've got here, I've got gag me with a spoon gray. <laughs> Louise has just lost the plot. <laughs> yep. Didn't see that one coming, did you? And then I'm going to go for some dipper toe teal. <laughs> Did, Louise, did you see the photos that I posted on Facebook last night? I did. You did? Good, just checking. Well, I saw them this morning. Oh, okay, cool. A bit of blue. Yes, we had some... Babies? You had some babies. I, had babies. I didn't. I was designated driver for all seven of us. All right, so as you can see, I'm just popping a little bit into my palette here. Um, and I'm sticking with, we've got Gave Me With A Spoon Grey, Chateau Rose, Dipper Toe Teal, Beach Ball Blue, Galactic Teal. And I'm just going to leave that one empty for, um, I, for my next colour, um, which I haven't decided what it will be yet. I don't know, I might need something else. Um, yeah, so now I have my second jab on Tuesday. Smack bang in the middle of packing day, which I didn't really think that through. But you know what? That's fine. We'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. I'm sure you won't mind if your orders are a little bit late getting out because I went off and had my jab. Um, okay, so what I want to do quickly is I need to test the colours to see what I'm working with. Here's a scrap bit of paper. So I need to give it a stir and see what I'm working with before I just whack it onto my page. So gag me with a spoon gray is really nice because like gray is not a um, a color. It's a, it's a combination of lots of colors. You quite often get lots of different things come through it. So even though it looks like it's a bit of a pinky gray, it comes out really quite nice. So Chateau Rose is kind of like a skin tone. Dipper Toe Teal is part of the new Summer Break collection. And that's a really nice subdued teal. Uh, Galactic Teal is quite a darker teal. I do like that. I do have some colours available uh, with Lindy's that you can buy as singles. But they're actually much better value to, for money if you buy them in a set. That's a bit too dark. I need to tone that back a bit. So I just need to be aware that when I use it, I want something a bit softer like that. But that's a nice little colour combo, I reckon. 
Right, let's get this back. Okay, so when I'm working with Lindy's in an art journal, I want to go with something uh, a little a little softer and a little bit more fluid. So I need a brush that's going to hold lots of water. I need some paper towel handy and I need my heat tool handy. Let's move some of this rubbish out of the way. So I have my colors here in front of me and let's get this done. Let's do this, get my water. Hello, Michelle Pentland. So I'm going to, so here's my colors. I've got those sitting there so I can see them. I'm gonna go in with this gray first and I'm just gonna pop a little bit on. So it's gonna come up quite light and I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna puddle it in around my person. And I'm after a really loose sort of look. So i um, getting my finger in there to, to move that color around as well. Watching that the puddle doesn't go down into the spine. Um, and I need my heat tool, which is not connected. So just bear with me just a second and I'm gonna plug that in. And I'm just watching how much water goes into this gap because I don't want too much to go in there um, because it will mess with the integrity of my spine. Okay, so I'm going to start getting some of these teals on my page and I'm just going to jump in and go straight into the middle. And I can overlap my colours a bit too. And it's just putting a really nice soft amount of colour onto my page. And I love the way that the um, the water and the colour, the magicals, pull on top of the gesso and the gel medium, and it sits in really, really nicely. It creates these really nice little puddles when I heat set it, and it's not soaking into my paper too much. But I'm making sure that it doesn't run into the face of my two ladies that I have here. And drying off as I go will set the colour quite nicely so that it stays in that spot and it's not going to run around too much on my page. But it gives a real watercolour sort of look to it as well, which I really quite like without using watercolours. But it has a shimmer to it because, of course, um, Lindy's have got two different sorts of magicals. One will be a, um, a Starburst magical, which has got that gorgeous shimmer to it. And the other is the flat magicals, which don't have any shimmer at all. And all the ones that I have chosen here are all shimmery ones. So they've got a really nice little shimmer sitting on top of the, on top of the paper. So where's my little piece of, there we go, grab that. I'm going to come in here with a bit more of this gag me with a spoon gray which by the way when you do the sprinkle and spritz technique with gag me with a spoon gray the color comes up amazing and I'm just going to splatter that out a bit and using the side of my brush and I love that it's allowing me to puddle and pull the, the color around and heat set that I do love me a gray Oh, I found my ink pad. Let me 
messed that up, didn't I? So just dragging my cut my brush really loosely over over the side of this image here. Um, so where it, it, it could well be her hair, it's kind of puddling in really, really nicely, okay? I'm going for a real loose, abstract sort of style. Okay, I'm really liking this. So now I'm going to grab this blue. Now this blue, as you remember, is quite blue. So I'm going to use it really lightly in and around the body over here. And I'm going to layer some green over the top. And I'm going to balance it out by popping some on this side as well. But it does need a little bit of pop of this blue. A little splatter. And then heat set. So you don't always have to use, you don't always have to use paint in your art journals. You can use whatever you have in front of you. So today I've, you know, I'm wanting to work with magicals. So here we go. We've got them in my journal and it's just a case of knowing, having a play and knowing how to, how they react on different surfaces. Okay. So when I do my art basics class as part of the online class, we, we cover this as a topic. Um, and I can't wait to teach that. And it's, it's the sort of thing that takes a bit of practice, but getting to know how your products work on different surfaces. Is, is part of um, creating confidence with your um, with your art journaling. So now I'm just going to heat set this and then I'm going to add some layers of stamping before I think about what I'm going to do with the face. Faces. Faces. And I'm going to make sure this is 110% dry before I add any stamping to it, just so that I make sure that I get all the true colours coming out. Um, so while I'm drying this, uh, a lot of you have taken advantage of the specials that we've got going on this weekend, but make sure you check out the show specials category on the website. So what that is, it's a mix of lots of things that we've only got one or two left available. Um, we need to make way for all the new stock that is on the way. So we have marked down a whole heap of amazing stock that's still really quite current um, and we have marked it down significantly to make sure that you get great value for money with it okay so our clearance section uh, is our show sec our show specials is full of absolute bargains I'm gonna bring that up to camera to show you So this one here, if you just type in Dina Wakely collage paper, the one that I'm using is called Vintage and Sketches. Now I'm going to put that aside so that I don't accidentally knock it because that's a thing. Um, I pulled out, oh, and a warm heat gun on the lap. Hello. I've pulled out a few uh, stamps here. I've just grabbed a couple I've got some foam stamps from Scrap Effects. I've got a couple of Dina Wakely scribbly ones here. I've got some Natalie May scrapbooking ones as well. And I want to start adding a few marks to my page. Um, I think I'm going to start with this. This is the numbers one from, from Scrap Effects. And, and I'm going to stamp, first of all, in Hickory Smoke, which is the lighter of the um, set of four archivals. And I love that it gives me a gorgeous shadowed effect. 
and I'm going to be putting the other numbers over the top in a minute. But it has given a gorgeous shadowed stamped effect before I put on the black. Building layers we are. So this one actually comes in as a big one, a big long stamp, but I have chosen to cut it in half to use it for ease um, because I like that I can break it up. Like so. So that is the Scrap Effects Foam Stamps and I love that they, they're already on that acrylic for you. I do need some scribble. So I'm going to, this is one of the Dina Wakeley. I don't even know what set this one is from. So I apologize if you're looking for it, um, but I always test first. So I've got this bit of paper here before I put it onto my page. Yep, that'll do. And I'm after a real organic. Look, so I'm not making, oops, what am I doing there? Come on, Natalie. Little scribble. And let's use this one. So this is, this says original art, and this is one of mine that I have designed. And a bigger block would be great. <laughs> All right. So off stamping allows me to get one really good one and then it almost like shadows it. And I absolutely love that effect. Uh, it, it floats my boat. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it up to camera to show you what the off stamping looks like. So you can see where it's one good one and then it's like a shadow of everything else in and around that. And you can see that Hickory Smoke um, archival ink, that one there, for example, is just, it's got that gorgeous shadow to it. That's coming up so good. This is an older Dina Wakeley stamp. Do I want to? Yeah, stuff it. Let's go. Just a little. Knowing when to stop is important. And now's the time where I stop. All right, so let's think about what am I going to do with these faces. So the colour that I chose to do the faces with is this gorgeous Chateau Rose. And let's have another look at it. It's very, very not what I want. So what I can do is I can tone that color down by adding more water to it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this well here, clean it, is I'm gonna take some of the color out of here and I'm gonna put it into there because at the moment it's looking a little bit too bold and a little bit too bright. So what I can do, because they are magicals, is I can control the colour by adding more water. I know, right? Look at that. Just like you do with watercolours, you can, you can make the colour as light as you need. So there you go. That's much nicer for a skin tone. Before I do that, let's make sure all of my stamping is completely dry and have a drink break. Louise, drink some water. 
good girl. Smash it out. Rehydrate. You don't even know where your water is. <laughs> I've lost it. Okay. Found it. Stop looking. All right. All right. So I'm going to now very lightly go in and start adding some colour. So the best way to do it is to go with the less is best option first. So I've loaded up my brush and I'm going to get in here. And taking the excess off on my paper towel and I'm just going to spread that around. And it's super loose. It's just kind of going to be like a shadow of the colour. Nothing else about this page is perfect, but it does need some sort of colour over the face. So that's just enough for me. So even less over on this side because it's a small area, not over the eyes. And because it's wet, I can tone it back with some paper towel, dab that off if I need to. I can take some of this stronger colour and pop it in on her cheeks. On the edges for a little shading, but I don't want to do any more than that. But she just needs a little pink in her face. So it's not a difficult process. And, you, and what makes this work for me is the fact that I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for a nice layered amount of colour just to cover that background. So um, I'm getting quite a, a different look to what, you know, what's sitting here because I'm adding water to tone those colours back. And that's what Lindy's enables you to do. Um, one thing I do want to do is I need to just add a pop of colour in the eyes here. So I might just pick up a little of this here. And drop it in. And if I don't like it, I can just tone it back. But I'm really liking this. Now, what I don't like is that I have got... Let me get that out of the way. I'm bringing it up to camera. The blue, I've got blue down here. I've got blue over here. I need some blue up here for balance, okay? So I'm just using a thinner paintbrush and I'm gonna cover that up and I'm just gonna add a little splatter. blue and then I'm gonna call it I'm gonna be done with it it doesn't need a title or a phrase because I'm using original art and I'm pretty happy with that and I have done that in 30 minutes so there you go it can be done so today on nataliemay.com.au, this is the last day for you to take advantage of our sale, of our online sale for the weekend. We have got 15% off of all things Christmas. We have 15% off of all things Lindy's. We have got 15% off of washi tape, the Dina Wakely tissue paper that I'm using here, the collage paper. That's 15% off. Washi tape, Lindy's. Alcohol inks as well. So there you go. So I'm going to post a photograph of this up um, online and link to the products that we have used. Uh, and hopefully you can have a go at trying it at home. But you can use Magicals in your art journal. All right. So you can see how that skin tone that Chateau Rose looks looks nice. It's come up really quite well. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, wash your hands, kiss your kids, and chat to you soon.